from the Tour Nation Production Studios, located in the Media Arts Learning Community at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. From the Studio of Dreams at Tour Nation Productions. Reporting from the Studio of Dreams located at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas, welcome to the award-winning Good Morning Ball High. I'm Aiden Carcano. And I'm Ethan Keller. To get things started, as always, stay tuned to today's Time Rewind courtesy of our good friend, David Mendel. It's Time Rewind for February 13th. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon earns 10 Oscar nominations on this day in 2001, becoming the first Asian film and only the seventh foreign language film to get a nod for Best Picture. I write the songs that make More than half a million performers and writers in the music industry enjoy copyright protection from an organization established on this day in 1914. It's ASCAP, the American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers. Competing performance rights organizations that came along later are BMI and CSAC. In fact, BMI is behind this single by The Osmonds, which is number one on this day in 1971. Fast forward to 1995 when girl group TLC rules the singles chart with Creep. The song is the band's first number one, holding there for four weeks. It wins a Grammy in the R&B category. That's Time Rewind. I'm David Mendel. Ball High Prom this year is May 4th. Join me and the rest of GISD in supporting our students by sponsoring a table. Contact Emily Dabney for more details. Ball High is starting its own mariachi group. If you play the violin, trumpet, or guitar, then this group is for you. For further information, see Ms. Oliveras. Several college scholarships available that have upcoming deadlines. First is the Barbara Jordan Historical Essay Competition. It is open to all students grades 9 through 12. Entry deadline is tomorrow. For further information, see Mr. Merritt. Next, there is a Latino history essay competition. Entry deadline is also tomorrow. Open to all students grades 9 through 12. For further information, see Mr. Merritt. Now let's check newspapers headlines from newspapers across America. Here's today's official Good Morning Ball High picture of the day. If you have an interesting photo that you would like to be considered a future picture of the day, send it to Mr. Dudas. We will be happy to feature it. And for even more photos, check out the Ball High Photography photo album. Go to Google and search Ball High Photography. Now let's check in and see what's going on in sports. I'm Caleb with the Sports Desk and here are your G-Ball Sports headlines. Today in basketball news, the Tours play at home this evening while the Lady Tours face Crosby in the bi-district playoffs this evening at Clearbrook High School. In soccer news, the Lady Tories travel to Angleton this evening while the guys host at home. And softball plays at Dayton this evening. As always, no matter what your favorite sport is, go and support your tours. Now back to more Good Morning Ball High. Now let's check the latest weather forecast. I'm Jordan here's your exclusive Good Morning Ball High weather forecast powered by the National Weather Service. Today look for sunny skies, high near 59. Tonight expect partly sunny skies and a low near 52. Tomorrow look for partly sunny skies and a high near 63. Now back to more Good Morning Ball High.
Let's check in and see what's trending this morning on social media. We are the Social Media Girls, and here's what's trending this morning on social media. Usher's Super Bowl halftime show received mixed reviews. And nachos cost $60 at the Super Bowl. How you smell sheds light on how healthy you are. And from the shape of your mouth to the eyebrow height, your face can reveal a lot. Now back to more Good Morning Ball High. If you would like to join the K-Tour, the Tornado Team, drop us a line. We'd love to hear from you. That furnishing for Good Morning Ball High provided by Star Fine Furniture. For additional content, stay tuned to part two of Good Morning Ball High immediately following today's program. Be sure and check out KTOR's five streaming music stations broadcasting on live365.com. Use search word KTOR. And don't forget that Time Rewind can also be found on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Check it out for more pop culture and trivia. Be sure and stay tuned for the second half of Good Morning Ball High coming up next. I'm Ethan. And I'm Aiden. Wishing, Wishing you a terrific day. Morning Ball High is produced by the students in the Media Arts Small Learning Community at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas. <laughs> Here's the word of the day. Today's word is magnate. Magnate means someone with power and influence, especially in a particular field of industry. Bill Gates is a technology magnate. Jeff Bezos is a retailing magnate. Oprah, she's a media magnate. They have power, they have influence. Oprah can get your book on the bestseller lists. Magnate, someone with power and influence, especially in a particular field of industry. Here's this day in history. February 13th, 1935. In New Jersey, Bruno Richard Hauptmann is found guilty of first-degree murder in the kidnap and death of aviator Charles Lindbergh's infant son. The following year, Hauptmann dies in the electric chair, insisting to the end that he's innocent. 1945. During the final months of World War II, Allied planes begin bombing raids on the German city of Dresden. The raids, which last for more than two months, kill up to 135,000 people, destroying 80 percent of the city. 1984. Konstantin Chernyenko becomes the Soviet Union's new leader when he's named General Secretary of the Communist Party. Chernyenko, who succeeds the late Yuri Andropov, dies the following year. Mikhail Gorbachev succeeds Chernyenko. 1950. Peter Gabriel, former lead singer of the rock band Genesis, whose solo career made room for the genre of world music, is born in Surrey, England, and 2002. Mars, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Waylon Jennings, the singer-songwriter who served up the outlaw brand of country music, dies in Chandler, Arizona. He was 64. Today in History, February 13th, Sophia Manners, The Associated Press. Hi, I'm Micah here with the One Minute Award winning movie theater. Today's movie is Kick Me, directed by the Jeffries Brothers. Kick Me shows a man walking through an office with a sticky note on his back detailing what will occur to him. When the sticky notes start to inconvenience him, he decides to place the sticky note on someone else, creating a vicious cycle. I liked this movie because the cinematography was great. Now, here's Kick Me.
Tell me, Caleb, what is the A-Team? Well, Dr. Neighbors, if you have to ask, then you're not a part of it.